What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and in this video we're going to be doing some benchmark tests, iPhone 5 versus 4S versus 4. Now these are all running on the same Wi-Fi network and all applications are ended for multitasking as you can see there. Now I'm going to do two tests with all three devices. First test I'm going to do uh, basically one at a time, 4 versus 4S versus 5, and then the last test I'll just uh, consecutively click test on each one and basically run them all at the same time. Now I am using Geekbench 2 which you can get in the App Store for free so if you want to run this test for yourself you can do so. So let's just go ahead and let's start the iPhone 4. And of course with the 4 being the slowest of the bunch it does take a while to run this test. And I've done these tests a few times before this video and it's pretty consistent numbers. They fluctuate a couple points here and there, but they're always about the same. It's pretty reliable. Now do keep in mind that the iPhone 4 is jailbroken and there are a few different tweaks on the device. So it could possibly affect the scores, making it drop just a little bit, but it wouldn't be that substantial. So the iPhone 4 hit a 389. Now let's go ahead and run it on the 4S. And with these tests, the higher the number, the better. And you can go through a lot of details with the test if you just scroll through all this. I'm not going to actually show you all that. I'm just more concerned about the overall number. And again, the higher the number, the better. And the 4S should take a bit less time than the 4. And we got a 630 with that. And now let's run the iPhone 5. And that took substantially less time. As you can see, it hits a 1646, which is a huge jump from the iPhone 4S. And uh, so now let's just do all three tests at once to see if we get around the same numbers. And we'll just do all these consecutively, just like so. And the 5 should be finishing now with a 1632. It's actually kind of funny, you can't see it, but on the 5, the clock is 959, the 4S it's 10 o'clock, and the 4 it's 959, so that's kind of weird. Oh, there you go. So 630 for the 4S, a 389 for the 4. And that's going to be basically it for this video, guys. Again, the application that I'm using is called Geekbench 2. It's a free application in the App Store, so if you want to go ahead and download it and check out what you get for a benchmark score, you can do so. I'll also leave the iTunes link down in the description for that as well. If you guys like this video, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.